Oh my gosh, what are you doing? Oh my god! What's up everybody? Welcome back to another- Oh, my color is wrong! What's up everybody? Welcome back to another colorful episode of the Not So Very Challenge Green Generation! If you are new here, make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on that notification bell. My dream is to hit 900,000 subscribers and we are on our way. So if you want to help, make sure to hit that subscribe button. I put out new videos every Wednesday and Saturday. Happy Saturday if you're watching on a Saturday. If not, happy day, whatever day you're watching. It's good to see you. So last time we had some fun fun as a child for the first time with our sweet baby angel ivy part of me thinks that you know there's not enough tension or drama or stakes in this series but part of me just likes how relaxing it is in comparison to the infant challenge but i know for a fact it's going to get a lot more dramatic very quickly because ivy is the girl that likes to party and have enemies i would love to see your guys's sims appear in the show in the future so if you are interested make sure to make a sim and upload them to the gallery using hashtag Kelsey not so Barry. I'm specifically looking for teenagers to be in Ivy's class when she enters high school. But for now, we're still in grade school and we're still getting to know our very first couple of friends. So without further ado, let's hop in. Thank you, Pass Kelsey. But before we get this video started, you all know I love a makeover, which is why I'm so excited to thank Project Makeover for sponsoring today's video. I've played this game for a while, but if you aren't familiar, Project Makeover is a game where you play as a reality TV show stylist and give clients and their homes makeovers to upgrade their lives. Choose from a large collection of fashion clothes and hair and makeup, solve addictive match three puzzles with challenging obstacles and create and stylize your own avatar. You can even share with and visit friends. Every time I pick up this game, I can't put it down. If you're interested, clink the click. If you're interested, click the video link in the description to check out more. I cannot pronounce the word click today. Click, click, click. And thank you again to Project Makeover for sponsoring today's video. Speaking of which, back to the video. Welcome back to our gorgeous house. We've got Oscar Barry, who is our neighbor and apparently very close friend of Amber's. I guess they've like bonded online or something. Aspen's asleep in his little bedroom. It's so weird to see Aspen in this room since it was Ivy's room, but we'll redecorate it when Aspen gets a little older, maybe make it more unique to him. Here's Ivy. It is is a Wednesday evening. Ivy, have you done any of your homework? You've done half of it. So why don't you finish it up and then get off to bed? Mom and dad are already in bed. And you're here with your, I guess, uncle, relative. Let's see how he's related to us. Unfortunately, it's so sad. Like most of my genealogy like disappeared over time. I don't know like if I did something wrong to make this happen, but all my 10 generations are not here, which is kind of like such a flippant bummer. It only goes up to Catalina. It doesn't even show Fox, which is absolutely ridiculous. So I don't know. Peach, why are you upset? What's her? Oh, Peach has needs. I forgot about that. Peach is not feeling so hot. So we're going to take Peach to the doctor. Mostly by taking Peach to the doctor, what I mainly end up doing is just buying a lot of those vet treats, which is probably what I will do so that we don't have to deal with it too much. Okay, Peach, don't worry about it, sweetheart. Let's purchase some pet items. This sim like running around playing in the rain is so hilarious. <laughs> Wait, there's only two gens left. So let's maybe do like five. I doubt that we're gonna use five in two generations. That seems like a little crazy to me. How about a little vet treat for you? I feel so bad for a noodle. Part of me wants to take noodle away from all this. I'm like, where's noodles treat? But peach is fine now, so that's good. Let's go home, I suppose. Bye noodle. I'm sorry that you're struggling. Come on, peach. Oh my gosh, look at this poor baby, Ollie. Ugh, peach is like, I'm coming, mom. Don't leave me here. Fabulous, so peach is better again. Good job, Peach. Let's go grab some food. Why don't you cook some meal that's a little healthier? Steamed fish. That kind of sounds nice. Let's do a steamed fish. Aspen woke up and is playing in his sister's room with her toys again. And Ivy is sitting outside doing some chess. Good job, Ivy. Dad is very tired, but dad, why don't you really quickly read a, another little book to Ivy here before bedtime? Ivy, why don't you listen to dad's story before bed? There he comes. There's Peaches coming in too. Look at Aspen coming in hot. 
hot with his little dinosaur fit. He's like, okay, I'm gonna get in bed, big sis, but you can sit there if you want. Is that a the end kind of moment? You didn't finish her aspiration requirements, bro. I need you to read like one more book, okay? And then you can all go to bed. She's getting her aspiration up here. We're reading with our adult for two hours and our sweet baby brother is here's falling asleep to them reading the book. Yes, milestone complete. We finished the precocious, something precocious part. It didn't say, okay. But uh, now she needs to finish the homework two times with focus, which is easy enough. So let's have you go to bed. We'll have Teddy put her to sleep after this book is over. There we go. That was a good reading. I loved the book. Even Peach woke up after that book. Peach was like, that was a very good book. Everybody's going to bed and Aspen is woken up. He's very sad because he had a nightmare and he wants to go wake up his sister. Oh, normally I don't let my sims do this because I need them to be good, but I'll let him wake up his sister. That's fine. Poor Aspen woke up his big sister. It's so cute. Come over here. Come here. You woke me up. Stay in the room so I can comfort you, you little goofball. Come here. We're gonna tell him a goofy story. We're gonna make him funny faces. Give a little family kiss. Oh, they're jokesters. Oh, Ivy and Aspen can't stop cracking each other up. It's always a hoot when these two are in the same room. I love that they're jokesters. I think that's really cute. They definitely get that from their mom. Now we're gonna play with the uh, peach a little bit. Aspen's nightmare is going away. Why don't you go back to sleep, okay? Aspen, you get some hugs from the puppy and then you go back to sleep as well. See, our peach hugs, they make them all better. And look, he's feeling happy from hugging dogs and trusting the universe. Oh, because he's been raised with such love. He has a secure attachment style, it seems like. So sweet. Now he's going to go back to bed. Ivy's back in bed. The whole family asleep. Ivy, you start school in about an hour, so let's go get you some food. Oh, she's going to go to grade school. All right, we're a little late, so let's go to grade school. Have fun, Ivy. Have fun at school. Make some friends. Make some enemies, which is what I've been trying to get you to do, but you're just so dang nice. Amber, when do you have work? Do you have work today? 36 minutes. Okay, fabulous. Why don't you brush your teeth a little bit, get that hygiene up, girl, and then she's gonna go to work. Oh no, she's thinking about her brother. Aww. That's cute. I bet she sees a lot of her brother in Aspen. She's gonna give him a little tuck in before she heads to work today. We don't have to go to work with her today because she's already solved her cases, so she just needs to be just in a good mood. Okay, we're gonna send him alone, and we're gonna send oh, Teddy alone as well. Teddy, wake up. I didn't realize you had work today too. Bye, sweeties. Have fun. Good luck. Yeah, we're gonna send Aspen to hang out with his uncle and it's just Peach today. Oh, is this our friend? Hera Robata, it is our friend Hera. Why aren't you at work today? I thought we were at work together. Okay, Hera was like, I gotta go. Oh, Ivy's emotional control is in range to earn the uncontrolled emotions trait. Uh-oh. All right, let's make some friends instead. Ooh, Ivy. Oh, Ivy's met Adelaide while at school. Are you kidding, Ivy? Did you not make any enemies? She didn't make any enemies. She just is going down in school. So I guess that's not the way to do stuff. Stuff. I don't know. It's fine. Let's go get you some food. Get some leftovers. Not cake, please. There's healthy fish for you. Why don't you grab a serving of that before it goes bad? Okay. Oh my God. No, 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 no. Don't eat that. That's bad. Yeah, no, no, no. That's gone bad. We left that out all night and now it's bad. Great. It's rotted. Let's get a quick meal of some like applesauce or something, you know? Just tidy over. You don't need to eat something gross. Let's just eat applesauce. And then I need to get you focused. How do we get her focused? Ponder moves. Yeah, we'll get her like really focused and then we'll do our homework. Hera's here, our mom's robot coworker. Now she's focused. Okay, where's your homework, sweetie? Oh, she's already doing it. She's already like, I wanna do my homework now that I'm very focused. Good girl. Amber came home from work today already and you didn't get a promotion, but you are excellent. So let's say hi to our robot. Ivy is still very focused on her homework, which is fantastic. And Teddy's home. He's sad. What's up, Teddy? Why don't you introduce your Ourselves to our robot friend. I like the idea of this family like randomly having a robot friend. I'm about it. Oh no, Aspen. I forgot about Aspen being home now that the family's home. Oh my goodness. Okay, Aspen, why don't you get dad to help you potty? Ivy is finishing homework. Boom. Woohoo, we finished it. Okay, practice riding your bike. Sure. Teddy, are you gonna go take care of your son? He's really bad. So let's do a potty train Aspen, okay? We're going upstairs. Teddy, I think you need to figure out whatever you're doing here. He's sad. Do you need to vent to someone? Why don't you call a little sadness hotline, okay? I know you're kind of a gloomy man. Let's like maybe invite Kenya over or something. It is a little late, but Ivy's like, come over. I'm learning to ride my bike. Yay, she's over. Oh my gosh, look at her. 
Uh, look at her go. We'll work on that more, but our friend just came over. So we're going to hang out with our friend. They're going to, yes, make some funny faces. Why don't you girls come sit down on the couch and just hang out together? Meanwhile, Aspen's very sad. Mom and dad are struggling because we can't wash him in the sink because we don't have any power, I don't think. No, we can't give him a bath. Kenya and Ivy got a sentiment. I'm glad you don't think my llama jokes are getting old. So sweet. Okay, they're coming inside to come hang out. Aspen's finally getting his bath time. He's also very hungry, so we'll have to feed him soon. I just want them to just become even more better friends. More better friends. I want them to become very good friends. They're good friends. Woohoo! That's one down. Kenya is our childhood bestie. Sweet baby. He is getting the attention he deserves. Let's quickly give him some food. Food. Dad, why don't you clean up a little bit, okay? Amber's gonna go give some food to uh, Aspen in the, his little chair. Ivy's still chatting. Oh, Aspen loves water. And Ivy reached social skill level nine. That's very good, Ivy. Amber needs a couple things. So she's gonna go to the bathroom. Dad's cleaning up. Why don't you put Aspen to bed? And I want her to cook a meal again. Let's make a mud carp. Aspen, wake up. Dad's gonna put Put you to bed. Mom's making some dinner for everybody. Ivy's hanging out with her friend, having a pleasant conversation. Why don't you play a multiplayer game with Kenya? And then Kenya probably should go since it's 10:30. Okay, so it's a little late for Kenya to be over. There you go. Actually, that mud carp looks delicious. Mom's gonna sit down and watch the video game. Oh, so cute. How's Teddy doing? Teddy, why don't you go grab some food too? Ooh, Ivy reached level five of the motor school. Good job, Ivy. I wish she would like level up in gaming. She's only level two. She's level nine in social though. She's very social. It makes a lot of sense. She's going to be very social growing up too. She's not as creative, which is interesting, but that makes a lot of sense, I think for her that she's more of like a smarty pants. So Kenya, it's been so, oh, actually we should introduce ourselves to Kenya. I don't think our parents actually have introduced ourselves to Kenya. Oh no, she's heading out. Bye Kenya, it's nice to meet you. We'll officially, I suppose, meet next time. Oh, maybe Kenya gave Ivy a present. It seems like she didn't like it. I want to trade it. That present was for you, be grateful. I think that's 100% what Amber would say in front of her husband for sure. All right, Ivy, it's time for you to go to sleep, okay? Oh, they're having a little kiss out on the porch. So romantic. Ivy cleaned up after her parents. She's gonna go to bed. They're having a little suggestive conversation. Now, ooh, needs food fun. She has low amusement. Well, I know what could be fun, but I need to make sure that they're not going to have another baby if I let them woohoo. So let me double check on that. So they're not going to get pregnant if they woohoo. All right. Why don't you guys just have a nice little woohoo? Let's just have a little woohoo time. No? You guys are just going to go to sleep? Come on. Come on. Let's woohoo. You guys need some fun. You guys still got it. Let's go. Amber's fun is now up. So that's nice. Glad for that. Everybody going to sleep. There we go. Got to get your fun up somehow. You know, who is feeling stinky? So she's gonna take a shower really quick this morning. We're take a nice relaxing bath. There you go. She have work today? She does. Okay, I think she could get a promotion today, which will be great. Oh, it's love day today. Ooh, mom and dad should have a date. Oh, and Amber acquired the handiness tool. She's never had to do handiness before. That's so funny. Get all everybody's needs up before school and work. Oh, Ivy, you gotta go to school. You're 30 minutes late. No wonder you're still a C student. Come on, Ivy. We're sending the parents alone again today. So have fun at work everyone. I think it's promotion day. I really feel it in my bones. So you better not steer me wrong. In celebration of love day, Ivy's class made tissue paper flowers. The teacher asked all the students to give their flowers away to someone special. Now Ivy just needed to think of the right person. I think she'd gift her flowers. She seems like a little social butterfly kind of vibe. After school, Ivy spotted a sad girl sitting on a bench and she extended the bouquet of tissue paper flowers upon seeing the gift her face lit up and she gave Ivy the biggest hug ever. The teacher was right. It was so rewarding to make someone else's love day special. Aww, good Good job, Ivy. Oh my gosh. Are you serious about this sad slip through my fingers moment? Come on, girl. She's definitely not getting that promotion today if she's just sad all day. Oh, and now she's feeling dazed because she's been working too hard. Oh my gosh. She's starting to burn out. Are you kidding me? And Ivy's home and she still has a C. Even though she does really good work at her homework. It doesn't make any sense. Okay, let's open and grab some of this yummy fish. Ooh, she's feeling confident. Oh, and August wants to chat. Yeah, you can chat chat with Amber. We're gonna go give Peach a little hug and then we're gonna try to focus on our homework. Aw, so cute. Focus up, girl. There she goes. And then we're gonna breeze through our homework once we're done
on focusing. There you are. And Amber made money at work today, but again, did not get that promotion. Ah, but she's a notable newcomer. Oh, she's becoming a famous woman. Okay, well, why don't you relax outside? Aspen, I will take care of. He needs some fun. Poor Aspen. Why don't you play with some of the toys that you have? I know you have some in your inventory. Ivy's doing her homework in mom and dad's room. Amber's gonna go lounge outside and relax after a very long and arduous day. And Aspen seems happy again. Good job, Aspen. She's taking a nap. I love it. She just fell asleep outside. And Ivy completed her homework. Good job, Ivy. And she finished the next level of the WizKid Aspiration. Let's go. Affirmation. Aspiration. It's also love day, so we should be doing some things for love day here. Why don't you play a little bit of chess to work on that mental skill and have some fun. Aspen's, I guess, learning. I don't know what Aspen's doing, honestly. Can we just go potty train Aspen, please? Now we're level seven of the mental skill. So cute. And why don't you go to sleep early? Dad's finally potty training Aspen after like several attempts. And now we need some food. Oh, Aspen needs bedtime over food? Well, at least now he's level two of potty. I guess he can just go to sleep. I don't know. He's off. Teddy's needs are pretty good. He wants to play with toys with Aspen and change Aspen's diaper and he wants to get a promotion. Aww. Amber, meanwhile, still working on that mental fog. Let's maybe do some meditation outside, Amber. Here we go. We're working on our meditation here. Yes. It's now only saying six hours. Perfect. Even Peach is enjoying the yoga. Chewie does that with me sometimes too when I do yoga. Oh, and then Pete in front of me. Chewie does not do that. I would not be happy about Peach peeing in front of me while I'm yogaing. Now we're down to six hours of the mental fog being a thing. So why don't we go upstairs, use the toilet, have a nice relaxing bath. Seems like she just has a lot going on at work. So it's a lot of work to keep her from burning out. Which is kind of annoying. Love day was awful. Shoot, I forgot. I got so wrapped up and getting everybody's needs sorted. She was too burnt out to even focus on Love Day. I bet our husband's gonna be upset when he wakes up about Love Day. Yep, awful holiday. They all kind of care about it. Oh my gosh, are you kidding me? She's gonna watch her little TV show. It's 3 a.m. She just napped too much. She got her schedule a little bit off. I think you need to go to bed now. Oh, it went away. Yes, the mental fog went away from watching her TV show. Amazing. And our girl's up. Wow, it was just as Amber went to sleep that Ivy woke up. I love this. She's up early for school because she went to bed early. Oh, she's wearing her cute little froggy dress. Have a quick meal of some cereal downstairs. Get some breakfast. And then from there, we need to craft three emotional potions. I feel like we need to maybe grab one of those sets. I wonder if it'll fit. Yeah, it could fit right there. We just might have to like move this guy over a little bit. Perfect. Just gonna go get these emotion potions. I forget what they do. I feel like they do nothing, honestly. She's gonna work on her little mental skill while Peach watches on. Oh, Peach finally going to sleep. I feel like Peach stays up because everyone else is asleep and then goes to sleep when everyone else is awake because Peach likes to have everyone's back, you know? Ivy made a delightful concoction and is now in her inventory. All right, one more. You gotta do three of them. Amber's going to go get Aspen to go give him the food that she put out for him. There she goes. Ivy made her third potion. Good job, Ivy. What do they do? Can you drink one and show me what it does? Oh, it was gross. It was just disgusting. Good job, Ivy. The next thing you need to do is level up your mental skills. So why don't you just play until you gotta go to school? Oh wait, it's Saturday. You don't have to go to school. All right, well, you're just gonna work on your mental skill today. Dang it, we can't level her up. Does Amber have work today? No, dang it. Okay, well, I guess I just have to hang out with the family today. But Teddy has to go. Oh, Teddy, good luck at work. I guess I should have gone with you to get you a promotion since you've been wanting one. Part of me just wants to cheat it so I don't have to go with him. But it's an Amber and Ivy day. That's fun. Amber, why don't you join in Ivy's game? Oh, and it's also an Aspen. Actually, you know what, Amber? Why don't you work on Aspen's needs instead? How are you doing, Ivy? Do you want to like play some video game or maybe like a rhythmic attack? I think that's like the brainy one, right? Yeah, go play that one. I love her little computer setup too with the pinks and stuff. It's so sweet. Aspen's getting his fun up and his hygiene up. Good job, Aspen. He does love, love, love the potty. And she's playing her little arithmetic game. Ooh, four times two is eight. You're doing timetables already? Wow. Ivy wants to look at the bright side. Oh, how do I do that? Oh, when she's in a negative mood. That's so cute. You can do that when you're in a negative mood. I'm gonna keep that. She's almost never in a bad mood. I take such good care of my Sims in this let's play. 
Our girl is doing great. Her thinking skill is like working on that level 10 mental skill. We're almost matched up with social skill and our gaming skill is going up too. I'm crushing this. Oh, Ivy reached mental level 10 or nine. Good job, Ivy. You just have one more. And then we just have the school grade to work on. And this is the last one. So we'll get the, the trait mentally gifted, which means we'll build adult mental skills faster. And then we can start working on, I think we could do social. What's multi-skill? This one might be good. We should have her do a slumber party with her friends tonight. Wouldn't that be so cute? Let's plan a little slumber party. And then it's gonna be at our house and we're gonna start at like seven. I think that might be good for like a sleepover for kids. Oh my gosh, so fun. I've never done a sleepover. I should set it up. Okay, are they doing it like outside? Should we move our furniture around in the living room. I'm thinking in the living room might be good. Outside might be a lot for kids. So we're gonna move the couch back. We're gonna like maybe like have this put in storage for a bit. And then we'll see if we can have like sleeping bags. Yes, the sleeping bags. Okay, 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 okay. This is for toddlers. So this would be Aspen's bag. Let's do the pizza for Aspen. So we'll do our little girls right here. I'll make hers the green one. I kind of wish there was more fun ones. We need to unlock the cooler ones. Noted. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. This will be like Ivy's first party. <gasps> She's gonna have such a good time. Ivy, oh my gosh, Ivy's first party. They'll have to order pizza, play games. This is gonna be so much fun. Fun, Ivy, you have no idea. How's Aspen doing? He's just having fun. Maybe he should take a little nap before the kids come over so that he can like stay up a little later. They're watching some TV together. Ooh, I wonder if they can like sit here and like play games from on their sleeping bags. It'll be so cute. Oh, it looks like Amber got a little flirty from watching this uh, romantic television show. She's like, ooh, I'm thinking about my husband and some of those moves he showed me in bed the other night. Maybe you talk to mom about school. What other things can we do? We can work on our mental skill. Amber, why don't you two play some chess together? Ooh, Ivy reached level 10. She's maxed the social skill and her and her mom are jokesters. Yes, that's exactly what I wanted between these two. Making each other laugh, hyping each other up. It's so sweet. Ooh, and look who woke up, it's Aspen. He woke up from his nap and he's a little snacky. Okay, Aspen, why don't we open and give you some food here? Ooh, she just reached level, she's level four. I feel like her daughter's making her smarter because she's got to like try to keep up with her. <laughs> <laughs> Little man is having a great day. Oh my God, the slumber party starts soon. Starts in an hour. I cannot wait. I cannot wait. I cannot wait. Who are you? Stranger. Get out of my house. These two are having a good time helping Ivy's skills up. Aspen just finished up his yummy, yummy food, which is good. She's gonna take a little nap before. Well, the party's just getting started, Ivy. Your friends are gonna be here any minute. Why don't you sit down and like nap on your sleeping bag downstairs? Cause the sleepover is beginning. There it is, the slumber party is about to begin, let's start. So we need to have some Sims chat, we need to eat. I wish we could like make some popcorn or something. Maybe she needs to make some cookies. Black and white cookies, let's do that. Let's all play a game together. Ask to set up sleeping bags, cute, let's do it. Oh my gosh, let's go set up our sleeping bags. Come on over. Oh my gosh, you too, little sweet thing. Oh God, you put them out here, that's that's okay. Um, I was kind of thinking we would do it like inside. So let's, let's put your guys' bags in the house. House. We did it. We put the bags down. Now let's play a party game with Kenya and Adelaide. Feels like they can't. Okay. We can't play a game together? I'm willing to move everything in order to make this work. All right, let's try one more time. What is it? The pizza one's in the way? How about this? Can you play them now? There they go. They're sitting on their sleeping bags. They're gonna play it. Maybe little brother is not invited, you know? This is so cute, them sitting on the sleeping bags though. How sweet is that? It's a bummer that little Aspen's not able to play. Wait, he's upstairs. He's, he's got a sleeping bag up here. That is so cute. Why don't you get some sleep, Aspen, since you're tired? He's like, I'm in my party too. The girls are up downstairs like playing games and stuff and Aspen's like sleeping upstairs in mom and dad's room. Dad, why don't you grab some leftovers in the fridge and then we'll have some cookies for the girls. Oh no, where do the cookies go? I don't know where I put the cookies, but they're not around. Well, we gotta make the cookies again because I don't know where they went. Oh, but our uncle's here. Let's try, I guess, to cook again. <laughs> Maybe we'll just make different cookies. Or chips and salsa. 
We will make a little chips and salsa for the girls instead of cookies. All the girls are chatting. Now we're gonna put on our music. So let's turn on some S pop. All right, let's all dance. We're having a dance party, girls. Everybody dance together. We're listening to S pop, which totally sounds like something Ivy would do. Come on, girls. Let's eat together. Oh, shoot. This is not working out very well. We have two of them eating at the same time. All right, we just need to grab a serving. Quickly, girl, eat at the same time as them. Come on. Oh my God, seriously. Okay, we can't have them all for some reason eating at the same time, but let's try to all have them dance together. It's hard to get them all to do the same things at the same time. They can't? Oh my gosh, stop. There we go. Dance party, dance party, let's go. Come on, they're all three dancing to the music. You tell me they're not. Adelaide, why don't you dance with us? You know you want to? Even Uncle August is dancing. Let's all just watch a movie together, maybe. Oh, she's erratic. Okay, maybe we will not be friends, but that's okay. Let's all sit together on the sleeping bags and then let's all tell some stories. A group story about a little mouse. We're gonna tell it and we're also gonna tell it to Uncle August. He's also involved in the story. Oh, August and Ivy are also jokesters. That's really cute. I love that. Let's all sleep. Honestly, I think it's time to go to sleep. It's like 1 a.m. That's Amber's bag. Where's Adelaide's bag? Is it out in the rain? Yep, okay. Adelaide's bag is out in the rain. So let's go to sleep in that bag and I will pull out this bag that's Adelaide. Oh my gosh, so confusing. I love it. Okay, there's Adelaide's bag. Adelaide, you can sleep inside now. I wish I could control the other girls to make them go to sleep. Oh my gosh, what are we doing? Oh my God, that scared the crap out of me. Girl, go inside. What are you doing, all right? Why don't you politely introduce yourself to your daughter's friends? Run inside. Oh my God, Peach, you get inside. Inside now, Peach. Not good. Where is our daughter's other little friend? Adelaide, can you please come inside? Come inside. All right, there we go. Can we like suggest that they go to bed. I thought they would get some sleep, but we'll see. At least our daughter Ivy's getting sleep and Aston's sleeping in his little sleeping bag, which is the cutest thing. Amber's spotlight is fading. You know what? That's okay. She had like a, a moment of celebrity and that's all she needed. Oh my God, that just electrocuted my stuff over here too. Oh, Ivy's going through a phase. She's discovered an animal she connects with and she wants to wear a bear suit. Oh my God, Ivy has become the green avocado bear. I love that she, number one, at least stayed on theme. But number two, if any kid was to go through a bear phase, I really do genuinely believe that Ivy would be the kid to do. Also, we match. I'm in kind of a avocado bear color as well. Girl, do not go outside. It is raining. Girl, it's storming. Get out of there with your bear costume. Now go back to sleep, sweetie. Can I like make everybody go to sleep? Oh, Adelaide's being mean to her friend. Oh my God. We should console Adelaide about death. Be like, I'm sorry that you've gone through a death. She's literally in a bear costume being like, I'm sorry that you've been, you know, dealing with death. We're comforting her. She's still very sad. Let's try to cheer her up. Oh no, Adelaide did not like it. It was an unpleasant conversation. I feel like like Adelaide is being kind of rude. She's like talking smack about my friend and I feel like we would not like that. So it'd be like argue about arguing. We were so uncomfortable. She was sleeping outside. So we're gonna, this is gonna be our first enemy, honestly. We're gonna argue about sharing. We're gonna be like, you don't share, not nice. Oh my gosh. And Teddy's just here. She's gonna call her a booger eater. She's like, I bet you eat your own boogers. Oh my gosh, this is so funny. We're not having a good time. I think we should probably send her home, but I don't know if we will. So why don't we just go back and get some sleep. It's very late to be all of us up. Okay, Ivy went to sleep. The two girls still didn't go to sleep. They're like eating food and like going up in my room and stuff. But my little brother slept in his little bean bag and had a good time. So that's very cute. I feel like the get some sleep though we did. <gasps> There's a time for bed interaction. Are you kidding? Where was that? We never did that. Where was that? I literally don't see that anywhere. So I don't know where to find the time for bed. And I'm very sad that we're not gonna get gold because we deserved it. Time for bed, it's on me. Oh, I did it just in the nick of time. Okay, everybody time for bed. This is so cute. Look at them all going to bed. Okay, I had to learn. I had to click on myself. I didn't have to click on them. And the girls all went to sleep. Cuties. Teddy's having an early midlife crisis. Life seems to be passing Teddy by these days, it's the same day in and out and nothing really to show for it. It might be time for a change. Ooh, maybe he's not interested in his job anymore. He's not getting any younger and he was nervous about the broken umbrella. He just had a really rough night being outside. Our slumpy party was complete and we earned gold. Yes. That 
that was cute, you know? I liked it. I didn't realize you could do so many interactions with yourself of like doing the slumber party food and everything. They had a late night, these girlies. Maybe when, as a teen, we'll have like a better slumber party experience. Bye, Teddy. Have a good day at work today. How is Aspen? Aspen's hungry. Ivy and her friends really sleeping in this Sunday. They're both going. Okay, bye, girls. Oh. Look at this cute one that we got. We got some pictures. That's pretty funny. Put that on the wall. There's this like star plaque thing. Maybe we could like size that quite a bit down and put it up here. Oh my God. Her and her bear outfit, I swear, is cracking me up. But let's go work on our mental skill. Maybe we can sit down and play some of our arithmetic attack game. She is a flipping bear. She's cleaning up all of the dishes. Enjoy your video game. Oh, Aspen scared of the storm. Why are you outside? What are you doing? You poor baby. Why don't you play with the rocking chair? Who's this? It's Kenya. Our friend came over. Kenya, let's let's sit together on my bed and like chat and hang out with my uncle. Tell an unbelievable story. Oh, and they should become best friends forever. That's so cute. Oh my gosh, this even got destroyed? Jeez. Oh wait, I'm missing them become best friends. What's wrong with Aspen? He's feeling sad because he's wet. Are we gonna clean him up really quick so Hopefully he dries off. There he goes. He's all better now. Adelaide, is Adelaide here? Get your butt out of my house. You're never invited back, Adelaide. Oh my God, he stole her toy out of her room. I'm sure Ivy doesn't really care, but her emotional control and empathy are really low. Oh girl. Okay, we need to get you journaling, okay? I'm pretty sure I got you a journal. Did I not? Okay, well, how do we work on those? Those are bad. Those are really bad. You can also work on these character values when she's a teen, I believe, but like, no, not my daughter. My daughter will be perfect. There's her little journal. She can do a little journaling here. It's helping her emotional control. Perfect. Not really her empathy, but that's okay. And her friend's heading out. She's like, I had fun, but I need to leave. Okay, no worries. Aspen's getting potty trained by mom, I think. Dad's watching some comedy. Ivy's still journaling. Good job, Ivy. All right, we got our chips and salsa for dinner. Oh my gosh, why is Aspen outside again? Aspen, you poor sweet baby angel. Amber, come get him. Well, Aspen reached level three of the movement skill probably just from today alone, walking up and down those stupid stairs. Oh no, midlife crisis alert. Teddy has hit the breaking point in life. The daily grind of life has burnt him out and now he has intense desire to become a modern day creative deity. On the plus side, any item Teddy creates will be one level higher in quality during this period. Check the aspiration panel for Teddy's midlife crisis desires and complete them to decrease the duration of the midlife crisis. Desire are optional and are replaced with a new one when completed. So his midlife crisis, he wants to create. Cool, he wants to shape bonsai trees. That is so cute. What a cute little hobby for him to have. Oh my gosh, this is honestly so funny. Let's put it here in this corner in front of our art piece, which I love that art piece, but it is what it is. And Teddy, why don't you clean that up? Learn the art of bonsai. Oh, he's having such a rough time. Can he talk to his wife about it? Well, he's feeling inspired now. Now, so that's good. Aspen needs to go to bed. Ivy's cleaning up the bathroom for her parents and then she's gonna pass out. Oh, his bonsai looking great, dude. Oh, he wants to do it five times. We have to wait for it to grow again. We need to admire 10 artwork. Knit for three hours. Okay, Sunday night. We did it, guys. Do we need to get knitting for our husband? Yes, apparently he's picking up knitting as well as bonsai. These are the cutest things. I feel like this one's good. I love that he's into knitting. It's so cute. What I don't love is this stupid weather we've been having. Jeez. Teddy, why don't you get some yummy food and you can like look at some art. Yes. We're slowly but surely working on our new skills here. Knit for three hours. Why don't you make a little friendship bracelet for Ivy? Does he have a day off today? He does. Okay. So we're working on his midlife crisis today. Okay. I don't think this counts as knitting, but it's cute that he's making one for Ivy. All right. Let's put this in our inventory and then and we'll try knitting. How about that? This is so kawaii. The little bear. Oh yeah, you need the green beanie for Ivy, for sure. And then you can make another one for her brother. Okay, he's knitting out here. He wants the better view. I can't blame him. So let's wake you up, little kid. And you want, mom, please carry me here and give me some food. Ma'am, I'm hungry. And how's Ivy? It's Monday morning. She needs some food too. Oh, does she have to go to school right now? Girl, go to school. You're late. Listen to teacher. I need you to become an A student now. I love this little midlife crisis. It's so charming. He did it! 
okay, let's send her low. Why don't you go to use the bathroom? It's definitely Father Sunday. Some bills to pay. Oof. Amber makes quite a bit of money, so I think we're all good. Ooh, Amber has 30 minutes free time. How should she spend it? She should go to the gym. Yes! Okay, I think, I think. Thing. That means that she got her promotion. She's almost there. We're gonna keep looking at her, keep watching, but let's give Aspen a bath. I just feel so bad for Teddy, never getting his promotion. I just don't wanna go to work with him is the problem. Aspen, why don't you go look at some books in your bookcase while dad knits. Another beanie, this one's for your son. He gives me kind of like this white or orange tiger kind of look. Maybe we'll do the orange tiger. Look at this view. I mean, how could you not relax and have a great life? All right, why don't you teach people Teach fetch. She wants to play fetch. In the midst of the midlife crisis, Teddy has decided cross stitch is his thing and wants to do it more often. Okay, great. Are you not into knitting? He's into knitting still, but cross stitch also seems like his kind of vibe. So that's great. Here we go, Peach. Pay attention. Enjoy the ball. Love the ball, Peach. And Ivy's grades are up. Congratulations, Ivy. You're now a V student. Well, on her way to the A student vibe here. You can breeze through your homework today. Look at her go. She's just looking so so confident. Oh, Peach has learned how to play fetch. That's so cute. But he's kind of stressed from the training her. So why don't you help Ivy with her homework and then give Ivy her new present? There he goes. Now he's feeling focused and leveling up his parenting skill. And Ivy's homework is complete. Good job. Okay, in honor of your homework being complete, I am going to give you a gift of the green bear beanie. I can't wait to see it on your little head. It's a bear just like you like. She must be so excited because she gets to wear the bear beanie. Represents her face. And oh, I almost forgot Amber has been promoted to Colonel. She doesn't look that happy about it. She's a little tense, but she crushed it. We are now level nine of the detective career with Amber. She's one promotion away from the level 10 of her career. And that also means one promotion away from completely closing out the Peach Generation chapter. We get to go to work with her one more day. I think we'll go to work maybe with Teddy one day just to get him that promotion. I feel like it'll make him feel really good and I feel very guilty about it. And of course, Ivy is well on her way to completing her first aspiration of becoming a whiz kid. Next up, we'll pick another one. Let me know which ones you want her to do in the comments below. And until next time, I'll see you on the internet very soon. Bye.